Hello and welcome. This is Nikhil Raj, course director for Tutomash.com. In this session, I will explain you how to place constraints in Primavera. So in Primavera, constraints are used to manipulate the start or finish of individual activities. So we already know every activity have an early start, late start and early finish and late finish duration and float as well. So if you place constraint, it will affect the early start or late start or early finish or late finish. So we will see what are the types of constraints in Primavera. In Primavera, there are nine types of constraints. Start on constraint, start on or after constraint, start on or before constraint, finish on constraint, finish on or after constraint, finish on or before constraint, mandatory start constraint, mandatory finish and as late as possible constraint. So first of all we will see the explanation of each constraint then I will demonstrate in the software how to place this constraint. So start on constraint. It means a restriction you place on an activity by imposing a start date. The start on constraint can delay an early start or accelerate a late start to satisfy the imposed date. Unlike the mandatory start constraint which can violate the network logic, this constraint protects it. The next one is start on or after constraint. A restriction you impose on an activity that limits the earliest time it can begin. When calculating a schedule, the start on or after constraint is used in the forward pass only if the calculated early start date will be earlier than the imposed date. This constraint affects only early dates. The early start date of an activity with a start on or after constraint cannot be earlier than the imposed date, although the network logic may cause the early start to occur later. Next is start on or before constraint. It's a restriction you impose on an activity that limits the latest date it can start. When calculating a schedule, the start on or before constraint is used in the backward pass only if the calculated late start date will be later than the imposed date. This constraint may decrease total float. It only affects late dates. And next is finish on constraint. It's a restriction you place on an activity by imposing a finish date. The finish on constraint can delay an early finish or accelerate a late finish to satisfy the imposed date. Finish on or after constraint. It's a restriction you impose on an activity that limits the earliest time it can complete. The finish on or after constraint reduces float to coordinate parallel activities ensuring that the finish of an activity is not scheduled before the specified date. It is usually applied to activities that have few predecessors that must finish before the next phase of a project. Finish on or before constraint. It's a restriction you impose on an activity that limits the latest time it can be finished. The finish on or before constraint affects only late dates. Use this constraint to ensure that the late finish date of an activity is not later than the date you impose. Mandatory start constraint. A restriction you impose on an activity that sets its early and late start dates equal to the date you specify. The mandatory early start date is used regardless of its effect on network logic. A mandatory early start date could affect the late dates of all activities that lead to the constrained activity and all early dates for the activities that lead from the constrained activity. So there is a note. When mandatory constraints are placed on calendar non-working time, the early and late dates are not set equal to each other. The early dates is moved forward to the next valid work time and the late date is moved back earlier to the first valid work time. This can cause negative float in the schedule. Mandatory finish constraint, a restriction you impose on an activity that sets its early and late finish dates equal to the date you specify. 
the mandatory finish date is used regardless of its effect on network logic. This constrained effect, the late dates of all activities that lead to the constrained activity and all early dates for the activities that lead from the constrained activity. As late as possible constraint, a restriction you impose on an activity or work unit with positive flow that allows it to start as late as possible without delaying its successors. This constraint sets the early dates as late as possible without affecting successor activities. Now I will demonstrate how to do all these constraints in the software. So here is a project which has some few activities. And here I have added columns like early start, late start, early finish and late finish and float as well. Now the constraint options can be find out if you go to the status tab. Here you can see constraints. So here is the primary constraints and here is the secondary constraint. You can put secondary constraint only after you put primary constraint. So let's say as late as possible. If you put this constraint you don't need to put a date because Column concreting, the start date is 12th December and late start is also 12th December. So if you put as late as possible, program will start this activity on its late start date. So that is as late as possible. And if you put finish on constraint to column concreting activities, you need to specify a date. Look at column concreting activities. It is starting on 12th December and early finish is 13th December. If you put the finish on constraint to 12th December, then schedule, you can see the early finish is still 12th December, but the late finish changes to 12th December makes a negative float. So that is finish on constraint. Now if you put finish on or after constraint, again you need to specify a date that is 12 December so that this activity will finish on this date or after this date. Similarly there is finish on or before, the activity will be finishing on 12 December or before 12 December. So that is finish on or before. And the next one is mandatory start and mandatory finish. When you specify mandatory start to particular activity, let's say this activity is starting on 12 December, if you put mandatory start to 11th December 8 a.m. You can see this activity will change its early start and late start both to 11th December 8 a.m. So that is mandatory start. And if you set it to mandatory finish and if you give a date, the early finish and late finish will change to these particular dates. Again there is start on constraint. You can specify a date. You can specify a date here so that the program will start on that particular date. And start on or after. The activity will start on that particular date or after that date. And there is start on or before. Activity will start on this date or before this date. So that's how all constraints works in Primover. So hope you understand how to assign constraints to the schedule. But I'll tell you from my personal experience, don't give some complex constraint to the schedule which will affect the network logic. So always try to put normal logics without put any constraint. You can put some simple constraints like as late as possible start on constraint but don't go for mandatory start and mandatory finish uh, start on or after uh, finish on or after these kind of constraints always use simple constraint only if your schedule requires otherwise don't add constraints so this is from my personal experience so hope you understood the session and thanks for watching